A Testament Against the World, The Lord's Rebuke. Come out from among them, says the Lord. March 26, 2011. From the Lord, our God and Savior. A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord against the churches of men. These people are foolish, a very foolish people, dwelling in houses made of brick and wood. Look how they set their foundations and erect every beam and support as they close the walls in around themselves. Brick by brick they build the walls, dollar by dollar they build up their high walls. Lo, they have built a multitude of very fine houses for themselves. Look how they sit at ease in their new palaces, while the poor gather in the waste places, and the needy drift into silence. These people of faith, as they are called among men, are a trapped people, a people whose wisdom shall bring them to shame, whose vanity shall bring upon them swift calamity. For I hate all their fine houses. I loathe the sight of them. They are cut off, an ensnared people, trapped behind the walls of their own houses. Look how these people wear their churches as a garment. For they take much pride in their own names. They are puffed up. See how they walk about with their heads held high, speaking proudly, taking no time to stop and listen. They refuse to hear. I tell you the truth. Their faces are covered in shame. Their nakedness is uncovered. Their rebellion is made plain. Their ears are full of their perverse doctrines, and their detestable traditions are always upon their lips. There is no light in them, and darkness covers them. They are unable to see. The light has faded. Dark days have come in, for the sun has already set upon this generation. I tell you, the sun has surely went down upon this age of men. Behold, the day ends, and still they refuse to be healed. They refuse me at every opportunity. They deny me day after day. And yet the people say, Where have we refused you? And by what means have we denied your name? Foolish people, fallen houses, you know neither me nor my father. For if you truly knew me, then you would have known the father also. To know me is to know the father, for I am your father. How is it then you have not entreated me? And when I came to you, why did you not sit at my feet to listen? You have hated both me and my father, for the way of the Lord is foreign to you, and the God of Israel is an offense in your eyes. Therefore, return to your molded God and worship this other Jesus, seeing as how you do revel in him. For I tell you the truth, Though many of you have built no statue, nor have you bowed the knee to any graven image, you have surely sinned against me. You have surely committed idolatry, for you have made for yourself another God and recreated the Savior in your own image. He looks nothing like me, for I am who I am, and I shall not be molded by you nor shall my ways be corrupted by you any more, nor shall my name be polluted by you any more. For you have given the wicked cause to blaspheme, and your traditions bring forth laughter among the pagan and the heathen. And by your doctrines do you bring harm to my people every day, O churches of men. You have forsaken me, you want no part with me as I truly am. 
you have turned to me the back and not the front. Your eyes are fixed straight ahead, gazing always upon that which is of men and this world. The way of God you have forgotten. And when I write to you, you will not look upon my words. Even my words from aforetime you segregate, embracing some while casting off others, reshaping it and molding it to your own liking. You shall not add to or take away from the word of the Lord Most High. You shall obey all my commands, yes, every commandment. You shall live by my every word. How is it you are still searching for new ways to elevate yourselves, seeking always to fulfill your unending need? And oh, how great is your need! Lusts of every kind and vanities, self delusion, caught up in a world of unbridled sin. You are starving. You are dying of thirst. Even now, you are slowly suffocating in all your fine houses, fading into darkness in all these condemned churches. I have given you many warnings, and I have blown the trumpet by my prophets. The watchmen have delivered my messages, and still you refuse me, preferring your own way, holding fast to your own deceptions. Therefore you have chosen. Therefore you are given up and must now walk through a great and dark valley. In the shadow of death shall you walk. Through the fire you must pass. For by no other means shall you come to know me, to see me as I truly am. Come out from among them, therefore, and be separate says the Lord. Touch no more all these unclean things, and I will receive you.